it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and today we're making a delicious squash casserole. It's about to go in the oven now. Valley Cooks and tonight I'm making squash casserole, fried okra, some sauteed fish and I have some great northerns in my instant pot about to start boiling on the saute. So first things first we're going to get this squash casserole ready for the oven and then we'll start our okra. I hope y'all are ready to eat some veggies. Lord have mercy, I don't think I had my video on. I've got three cups of cornbread dressing. There it is. Half a cup of milk, two eggs, a half a cup of mayonnaise. Now we're gonna put in a little bit of bell pepper, calls for a tablespoon, just enough to give it some flavor. I keep this in the freezer. I buy them when they're on sale, chop them up, and freeze them. They smell so good. We're gonna chop up about a half cup of onion, and that'll be our last step. This is a great dish. It's gonna go in the oven. It's going to bake for an hour. So you gotta get in there, get it in there if you wanna eat. You gotta get in there early. Don't wait till the last minute and make your squash casserole. Or you'll be waiting forever on supper, won't you? Now this will be in our third cookbook, this recipe. It's a really good recipe. I prefer it uh, over the one that's that I have that's just homemade ingredients. It doesn't have the cream of chicken and all that in it. Um, I mean, it's good and fresh tasting, but I prefer this one myself over that one. Now, all we're going to do is add eight ounces of cheese to it. Add our squash. It calls for a cup and a half of squash, but you can use whatever you got. You just mix it up. Let's put in our cheese, y'all. Eight ounces of cheese is a cup. So we're just gonna pour in some. You can use cheddar, but I don't have any cheddar today. So we're using Colby Jack, that's what I've got. Yes, I do buy it in a bag. What mamas do when they're feeding a bunch of people, we ain't got time to be grating cheese. So it's stuffing, cornbread stuffing, cheese, mayonnaise, cream of chicken, bell pepper, onion, yummy. Cheese is stringing. Uh oh, one of our pieces of squash got left out. We'll put it right in the center. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm gonna bake this today at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. Now my recipe does say 350 for an hour, and if you got time, fine. But if you wanna bake it quicker, you can. Doesn't hurt. Now we're gonna fry up some okra. Then we'll pour the beans in it, y'all. Watch out, soda. This is our delicious squash cornbread casserole. That's the star of the show today. That's what I made the video for. I only made it once for y'all. And I can't remember if it was live or not. All right, here's our beans. Now this Instapot makes beautiful, beautiful beans. I cook them on the multigrain setting. I put extra water in them. Put about two inches of water over the top of my beans. Put them on the, the multigrain setting. Then when it goes off, I let it cool down and then I saute them for 30 minutes in the instant pot on the saute setting. That's how they turn out every time. Pintos, Great Northerns, whatever you wanna make. Boy, does it do a good job. I would get an instant pot. And I love pressure cookers, I've got one. I would get an instant pot just to make dry beans in. I love it so much. All right, we're getting okra out of the freezer. It's the best way to do it when it's still frozen, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna put it in a little bit of buttermilk real quick. And we're not gonna let it thaw or anything because it's gonna hold together if, uh, better if we don't do that. I'm gonna do two packs because we got so many people here tonight. And one had a little more in it than the other. So there we go. So you're just gonna take a little bit of whole butter milk and you're not gonna put a lot. Just enough to wither a little. I'm just gonna mix it up. This is the way I like to just do just about all my veggies that I fry in the summer is with buttermilk, okay? Now, we're gonna salt and pepper it and, and then we're gonna flour it. We're gonna, I'm gonna rinse my hands off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my skillet on over here and let it be preheating so that it'll be ready to fry uh, when we get this done. I gotta wipe my hands off to wet it. And I want to put my hands in the salt and pepper them. Hope y'all are having a great day. I sure am. I colored my hair today. It's been a very pleasant day. We're going to sprinkle this with some pepper. I had a uh, viewer send me some pepper and a grinder. And oh my gosh, is it delicious. It smells so good. And she sent me Himalayan salt to go in my salt thing. She's making me step up in the world. Okay. So we salt and pepper it good. Pepper it really good. Okay. Now my secret ingredient is self-rising flour and buttermilk. So, I am going to put a lot of flour on both of these. Self-rising flour actually makes it crunchier than if you're just using plain flour. So I like to use it. I'm gonna mix these up. 
See, they're still frozen, so they're staying nice, and the coating is getting on there good. And that's what you want, just like that. These were frozen from last summer in our garden. We got a lot of okra we need to eat up before our okra comes in this year. Well, that's a good thing. I'm going to rinse my hands off. We're going to go through and get some grease in the skillet. While we're frying our okra today, we're also going to simmer some fish and some butter. So that'll be good. We made a, I don't know why I got my back eye on. No idea. But we made some great northern beans today. If I want to take a look at these. They look really good. I love this instant pot. Look how pretty they look. Yum. Alright, so we're going to turn the light on and get this started. I like to fry okra and Crisco. And I guarantee you this oven is going to fry it up faster than my gas did. So I'm excited about that. We'll say. Because electric ovens, stoves, get a little hot hotter than gas. Hotter. And this one is one of those turbo eyes, so it gets hot really fast. Which is a good thing when you've got frozen okra about to go in there. I'm going to get me a slotted spoon. A big one. If you don't have any really big spoons like this, you can get them at like Sam's Club. Walk. And um, I see you cannot touch it until it is, gets ready to touch. And you always have to add more Crisco. So you want it to get nice and brown before you flip it. The self rising uh, flour does absorb some of that grease, so you do have to add it, but it sure is good. We don't eat it all the time, so I think I'm hurting. All right, I'll probably fry up two batches of this okra, so I'm just going to show you frying up one batch just to show you how I do it. having fish and I use just butter um, to do my fish in them. We're going to get out some seasoning for it. Oh, a friend of mine just sent me this. I guess I could try it. Let me smell it. How hard it is to see fish seasoning. I don't really... Is it like Old Bay or is it like oh, Cajun? It's a seafood seasoning that says it's for shrimp and scallops and crawfish. And I don't think that's quite ready to flip. Getting really brown right there. Some of it was ready. I'm going 
print down just a half notch. So I don't like for it to get too brown. Alright, for the fish, we're just going to put some seasoning on it. That's going to be it. Easy. But it's not know if this is spicy or not. I'll taste it. Like that soda. This is just fish that we call out in the bay. That looks like redfish, it's so thick. my fish, we got a little bit of uh, Spanish mackerel in here. I soaked my fish in water uh, to get all the blood out of it. Because that's the way I like it. It makes it taste more like chicken. <laughs> uh, some people will be offended probably, but that's what we like. Lord, I'm about to burn up my okra. Compared to gas, it's crazy. It takes me at home, when I used to make okra, it would take me, I'm not kidding, 20 to 30 minutes just to fry up okra. And that took less than 10 minutes. That's crazy fast. Clean it. Mm -hmm. mm. Is it good? Nothing wrong with that. I like it like that. I know most people like it really, really brown. Get out of my way, soda. I'm gonna wind like, up stepping on you and then you're gonna go bite me. You don't take too kindly to be stepped on. She has off a lot of us. Nice and hot, though, ain't it? Turn it down to six like I don't want to get burnt. Let Oh, 
how I cook. I smell that fish now. Mmm, -mm, good. I like for it to get brown on the bottom. And that butter. To me, that's all it needs. And this is really salty, this uh, blend. So good. Everybody always asks us about this. This is a brazer. We do our best to try to provide stuff so that you can get it on our website. So you just have to go in there and look and see um, what's available. Because this is not something we got. Um, this is something we got to do discounts for. I'm going to let that cook just a few more minutes. Just a couple more minutes. Some of the smaller ones I could flip a little bit. But they're not nice and brown yet. That's all I can. Right, we'll let them keep cooking. We'll let them keep cooking. I'll pick up my stuff. Yeah, I got all dolled up for y'all today. I have not put makeup on. Like real foundation makeup. In probably two months. Until the day. So, I really did get dolled up. That's for y'all. I didn't wind up using this. I want y'all to see my stack of these because I use them so much. I keep five or six in my kitchen all the time. I think we need to get the upper. Really? Mm-hmm. Probably the okra and the fish. Okay. Get on it. Let's see. We'll do the okra first. Okay. It's not ready. Nah, do the fish first. I turned it down, remember? Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You like it like that. Mmm, it's so good. good Look Yummy. Let's turn it back up. It's good. This is how I like my fish. See how it looks? Smooth soda. No word. The pieces like flounder, but I don't think it's flounder. Trout, I think. Trout. That's mackerel. Let's get on the grill. Good luck, like fish. Oh, the fish is so good this way. There's nothing wrong with it. Put it like this. A little bit more. This walk is wonderful, y'all. It's on there. I love my walk. It is a uh, cast iron, and when I got it, it has it. When you first get it, it has like a special coating on it, but it does wear off in time, and you have to season it just like you would your skillets and stuff. It's really, really good. I've had people argue with me and say it's not real cast iron, and I'm like, yes, it is. It'll even rust after the coating wears off pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna take some of these out. Some of these are red
and I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. Not that it's not done, I just like it seared good. And it's done. Yeah, when them crunchy bits of butter on there gets on there, mmm, mmm, good. Yeah, those little crunchy pieces are the best part. Yeah, they are. Well, you don't want to take it out too quick. Some of it marinates. We got a few little pieces that aren't quite ready. The ones that get really done, just kind of stand them up on the side. Got a rock wall. You can do that. All right, we'll get these out. I'm making a rocket. See how that one looks underneath, like I want it to. Oh, yeah. That's how I like it. Whole plate of fish on the table. Let's get this uh, over out. It's ready. Things coming together like it ought to at one time. If you time it right, that's how to cook. I do not put cornbread, cornmeal, whatever, on my okra, and it is delish. And I have people tell me all the time they've never made it just with self rising flour, and then after they do, they love it. Good fried okra on the table. And we got okra, we gotta eat. So this is the star of the show. This is the main thing I made the video for. Squash casserole. It's good stuff. I have two squash casserole recipes and this is my favorite one. Mm, mm, mm. It smells so good. Get me a place of fish. Let's get this real pretty one. And some okra, y'all. I'm gonna taste all of it. Let's taste this first. That is so good. Y'all need to make that for real. For real. Taste my okra. Let y'all hear how crunchy it is. That's the best okra ever. 
I'll taste these instant pot beans. Put a little ham in them today and a little chicken bouillon. Mm. Man, what a good supper. A delicious fish. With that edge of crust, like I like it. That's good, Missy. Thanks for the seasoning. All right, Chris is ready to eat. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Y'all hit that like button, please. Love ya. Bye.